na plywood yako kama vas selling siwezi kuparara ni na vas daily ni na good news kwa new testament si lazima thank you my viewer for tuning in to youth tv this tuesday the lord bless you so much my name is pastor frederick i'm coming to you this uh, with my daily verse and today i want us to to, to look at a subject that uh, uh, that uh, touches on each and every one of us there is a search that is going on for freedom among human beings and i want us to talk about that this uh, tuesday the second day of the week the bible declares something in the book of numbers chapter 23 and verse 23 surely there is no enchantment against jacob neither is there any divination against israel according to this time it shall be said of jacob and of israel what hath god wrought and also the bible declares something in the book of exodus 22 and verse number 18 the bible says thou shall not uh, suffer a witch to live those are two statements which are very important for any human being because the reason why human beings are seeking for a freedom of some kind is because the bondage and the the the, the problem of supernatural harm and supernatural uh, resistance is real there's a real devil out there there's a real god out there and nobody can say that you do not need to be secure but when you are going out to seek for freedom where do you seek for that freedom because everybody is seeking for freedom some are seeking for freedom in drugs others are seeking for freedom in the devil's territory they join cults or they go to the witch doctors or even they join things like freemason and devil worshiping and other kinds of things like that but i want to tell you this that there is real freedom in jesus christ he is the one who is written in the word of god and when the bible says that you shall not allow a witch to live you don't go and carry a panga and you go slashing people if you try that committee will teach you that is not righteousness but you should understand that there is a power in the tank of every human being that has had an encounter with Jesus Christ and that power is little power it is powerful than any other power it crushes any power of the devil instantly when the word is released in the mouth of a believer there is a power that goes out with it that is why jesus could say to the lame rise up and walk and the power that nobody has seen it being transmitted to the lame it will go and cause them to come up it is the same power that paul used when he met with a, a witch called elimas and he told him you shall be blind from this hour and the bible says that darkness fell on him and he crippled in daylight in during in the daytime like, uh, like 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 any other blind person he was looking for a guide in the mid middle of a bright day but the guy became blind because paul spoke the word you remember when peter was uh, also encountered uh the guy who was resisting him and he wanted to he wanted uh to to to, to receive the power of the holy spirit and to pay money for it but peter told him to hell with your money that man understood immediately that if peter says it it will happen that is why he say he fell down and began to beg him why because there is a power that is carried in the mouth of every believer and that power can crush any power that is coming against the people of god so if you are being fought by the powers that are of evil powers of darkness you don't go back again to the to the powers of darkness to help you no you go to another kingdom the kingdom of god to jesus christ if the devil has become a, a nuisance to you if the witches the forces you are in business and you are finding some venerarias in your place of work and things are not working in your business you don't go looking for people who are going to tell you you can you know do some funny funny things no you sit in your house you call on Jesus and when Jesus comes in that business will work that family will work that uh, work of yours 
will, will, you'll prosper, you'll succeed. In there, let me tell you this. That when people are under a oppression, they are under some bondage, some prison of some kind that you cannot explain to anybody. But you find that there is something that you are fighting with. And you are working out your way out. And you are not finding a way out. Turn to Jesus Christ. Call his name. He will help you. Why? Because, let me tell you, if God says you shall not allow a witch to live, he didn't say that he will not allow a witch to live. No, it is you that will not allow a witch to live. How will you not allow a witch to live? You will refuse to die the death of any other man. You will refuse to be involved in any accident that has been manipulated by any human forces in collaboration with the forces of the devil. You will do it this way. You say, Father, in Jesus' name, I refuse to enter into any trap today. I refuse to allow any power to crush my destiny today. You release it with your tank, and the power in the name of Jesus will cause you to win that battle. How do I know it? I have seen it time and again. I have seen it time and again. We declare just the word. And you see the protection of God. You see the defeat of the enemies who are coming against you. When a witch rises against you, they should die. They should die themselves, not you. Because the Bible says, they shall dig a pit for you, but they shall fall in there themselves, not you. Not you. So can you believe it? Jesus is, help, is waiting for you to say, yes, I know you can help me. Don't go to other powers. Because at the end of the day, they will hurt you. They will destroy you. They will not give you real freedom. Witches and witch doctors, they cannot give real freedom. Why? Because they are themselves the agents of bondage. How can they give you freedom? I want to bless your life. This morning as you go out, trust Jesus and he will help you. Father, in Jesus' name, I release my view unto you. That from this day forward, they shall understand that you are more powerful than anything that human beings can turn to for help. And when they turn unto you, you will not disappoint them because they have come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your beloved son. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen. God bless you. Get in touch with us. Get in touch with us. I know you must have questions. Get in touch with us. And the Lord will bless you. Amen. Na play word yako kama vas selim siwezi kuparara ni na vas daily ni na good news kwa new testament si lazima